Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a little bit since I made a video. I am super, super excited about this one because I get to go on a field trip. Want to see where I'm going? Wait a second. Alright guys, it's Chris from Versus 3D, uh, also Tyrion who came to visit. Um, I think he's probably going to be in all my videos from now on. Anyway, uh, like I said, I am super excited. I get to go on a field trip today. I am going to Digit Makers in Toronto and uh, the owner has been uh, super great and offered to let me come up and shoot a demo video on the Shining 3D Einscan SE 3D scanner. I've gotten to play with this thing in the past and it's awesome. Um, I've done some amazing scans with it and for the price point, um, for home use, I, I would consider it a high-end home use machine, but uh, it's pretty amazing. Hey buddy. Um, so let's go to Toronto and we'll check it out. Do you want to come to Toronto too? Alright, and I made it up to Toronto to Digit Makers, and here we are with the Shine 3D Einscan SE. Now, I've already shot part of this and realized I messed up on this camera over here, so I had to start over. So here we go. Anyway, um, this scanner, I've played with it a little bit um, previously, and I've played with it a little bit this morning before I started shooting. I, this thing is amazing, I really have to say. Um, the quality you get off a scanner in this kind of price point, um, it's about, I think it's about $16.50 Canadian, um, is unbelievable. I've used phone scanners and I've used some, you know, the, right around a thousand dollar scanners and I have just not had any success at all. This thing, my test scan that I did earlier, holy crap. That, those are the only words I have, holy crap, this thing is awesome. Anyway, so without me rambling about it all day, let's uh, let's start calibrating. So to calibrate, it just requires this little board here and the stand for the board. So let's go to a screencast and we'll start uh, the calibration. Okay, so here we are inside the Einscan software. I'm going to choose calibrate and click next. See, I have this help mode for beginners on. I'm a beginner and I need the help. So now what it wants me to do is basically place the board in this position so that three dots are along the bottom. So I just put the board on there and hit snap. Okay, now I'm just gonna rotate the board. One more time. Okay, easy as that. Now let's do a scan. Okay, so what are we gonna scan? I had a really cool idea. So a good friend of mine actually owns uh, businesses in Renaissance fairs all over the US. So one of the things he sells is he sells like costume horns and fun ears and things like that. So he models them out of clay and then he has them either scanned or he has them molded or whatever. And then we got to talking and he said, hey, could you print these for me? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So I brought something new that he has just done. He, this is a unicorn horn and it has holes so you can wear it on your head. Anyway, it's cool. Um, and we're gonna scan this and then I'm gonna print one. So I'm just gonna pop it right on the bed, just like that. And let's go to the screen. Okay, so this time we're gonna do a fixed scan. I love that the software is idiot proof because that's me. So a new project 
and I'm going to call it unicorn horn. And save it. So this is going to be a non-texture scan because we really don't need to worry about textures for this. So I'm just going to hit that, hit apply. And we'll turn on the HDR, I think. Or maybe we won't. That's okay, we don't really need it. And then I've got it set to 24 steps. So it's basically going to scan 24 times. And then it's going to piece those meshes together. So um, I guess this is more of a medium brightness because it's not super white, but it's, it's pretty light. So I'm going to go with that and hit apply. So then all I have to do is look at where this big red box is flashing and hit the button. Now I'm going to speed this up because this is going to take a few minutes, but you can see it anyway. Okay, and it's done. So now I don't really want to edit anything, so I am just going to click the green check mark. So now you can see we basically have a mesh. So there's no top and there's no bottom. So we have a couple of options. I'm going to show you one, but I'm not actually going to do it because for this we don't need it. What I could do is actually just take the horn and lay it this way, and it will scan the top and bottom. But because of the tools this already has, we don't really need to do that. So I'm gonna show you those tools now. So if I was to do that, like I showed you, and lay the horn down, I just hit continue scan and it would do it again. But I'm gonna hit click here after scans are done. So this is gonna take me to the mesh room. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a watertight model with medium detail. And that's it. Now I can smooth it and sharpen it, so I'll go ahead and do that. And there it is, there's our horn. Watch this. So it basically made the entire model watertight. So now this is an acceptable model for 3D printing. And you can see what we're looking at here for detail. It's a little bit crazy. So now I'm going to take these files and the screencast that I just did back to my place and we're going to slice this model up and throw it on a printer and let's see how close it comes to this guy. Okay, so here we are in Simplify 3D. So I'm going to use my Anycubic Predator to print this, which is a Delta machine. It's pretty tall and it's pretty big. So you can see the size of the horn versus the print volume here. Anyway, what I'm going to show you real quick, I didn't record this, which I probably should have. Um, I took the mesh that was created from the scanner and I just popped it into uh, Fusion 360 quickly because I wanted to add a nice clean hole right here. And this is where the string goes through because these are actually worn on your head um, and you tie them on with a shoelace. So yeah, don't judge. It's fun. Anyway, um, 
So just a really quick, simple slice on this. So my Predator profile is already loaded. Uh, its name is Mirage. And uh, these are all of my retraction settings for it. I have everything all set up, calibrated for this printer particularly. Uh, I'm going to use uh, 0 0.1610 layer height, top five, top bottom, uh, three shells. And I've just recently discovered, uh, I've been using Inside Out forever. And I just found recently, uh, a friend of mine actually had posted on Facebook that uh, he was using outside in and he got really, really great surface quality. So I tried it and it really does make a difference. The only thing I did find though is you have to be a little bit more careful with overhangs um, because it's printing from the outside in. So it's not, it doesn't have anything to grab onto if it starts on the inner part as opposed to the outer part. Hope that made sense. Anyway, gonna move on here and just hit okay. And then we'll just prepare to print that. And here we go. So there, there it is there. And I'll just do a quick run through of the slice so you can see it. One thing you may notice here too is what I did is if you look at the infill as it's forming, I have it set to uh, combine infill every two layers. That way it actually prints the infill at twice the thickness, but it only prints it every other layer which saves a lot of print time. See that going along there? There's no need for any type of support in there. We'll speed this up. And there we go, it's done. So anyway, you saw start to finish, how it happened, and here's the finished product. Now, other than the terrible seam I have, because apparently I need to work on my slicer profile a little bit, um, this came out amazing. So if you compare it to the original, they're virtually identical. Now I'll throw these on a turntable and shoot a little video and put it in right here. Now, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Digit Makers for letting me come up and kind of invade their space and use their equipment and actually providing the PLA. This is their uh, D3D Sigma Neat Filament. It's yeah, This is yellow. Hey, it's yellow. Um, and they also provided me with some filament for an upcoming video I have that's going to be a print and paint video. Um, so stay tuned for that. I will talk more about that in the announcements, but I just wanted to say a huge thank you. So now I'm going to link uh, Digimaker's website in the box below down there. So take a look at their products, at the Einscans, at the whole line of them, because they have them that run right up over to $10,000 Canadian um, hand scanners. It's amazing. Um, and keep uh, keep an eye out because they're, uh, they're going to have some special events happening really soon. So those will also be on their website. Um, so upcoming videos for me, let's talk about the next couple that are going on. Um, I have a print and paint video. Like I said, uh, the digit makers has supplied their, uh, the D3D Sigma neat for me. Uh, and that's going to be, there's a designer named, uh, Henry, uh, he goes by Henry 3D on Instagram and he makes some really amazing Avengers models. And uh, he sent me his Mjolnir model to do. So I'm gonna do a print and paint on that. It's kind of partially done already. There might be some pieces to up behind me, but I'm not showing you. Um, so there's that. Also, big news, uh, Palette just got better. Palette 2S and Palette 2 Pro S just came out. So they haven't even released them yet, but uh, I have some upgrade kits that they've already sent me. So those are on the way. So I'm gonna do a video of upgrading the Palette 2 
and possibly the Palette 2 Pro, depending. I think they're pretty identical, so I may only do one, but I may do them both in the same video. Depends on how different they are. Um, also, uh, Filaments.ta is sending me some of their new uh, Polyjuice, which is their water washable resin, and I'm really excited to try that. So that's coming. And then Anycubic has sent me some of their EC soy based resin. They sent me that a while ago and I did some prints for it and I haven't done the video yet. So I'm going to be doing that soon as well. Other cool things that are happening. Um, so before I talk about the cool things, the cool thing that's almost over, if you haven't seen my Anycubic uh, Mega S giveaway video, I'll link it. Uh, either I'll put it in the thing you can click on or it'll be in the box down there. Uh, I am giving away an Anycubic Mega S printer. All you have to do is watch the video and follow the instructions and it's super easy. So there's that. So don't miss out on that. And then the cool announcement, if you uh, are already a subscriber, you may have already seen, uh, I've started a new live stream channel with Telly Mantelli, who is uh, one of the founders of the group 3D Printing Canada on Facebook. It's a huge group. It's the biggest one in Canada. And uh, we decided to do kind of a live chat, talk, question, answer, interviewee kind of thing every couple of weeks. So every other Friday, we just had our premiere show, um, which was just more of a, hey, let's work out the bugs kind of thing. Uh, a week from Friday, so the 15th, we have uh, Mitch Tabora, the CEO of Mosaic. So he's going to come on and we're going to talk about Palette 2 S and Palette 2 Pro S. And there's going to be a lot of questions, answers, stuff like that that we can talk to Mitch about. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I've actually known Mitch for a while, so it'll be nice to have someone I know so I can feel a bit comfortable. Uh, we also have the man behind the nerd, Sean Connolly. Um, he is, if you don't know who he is, he's a super, super nice guy. He is actually Joel Telling's cameraman, editor. Uh, sometimes he gets picked on. You've probably seen him in some of Joel's videos. He's an awesome, awesome guy, and I'm so excited to have him on, um, on the show. And then we also have uh, one of the, I would say, probably more popular modelers around right now. Uh, you may know him from his minis or from a ton of the, video, the models that I use, Wexter. So super excited about that one. That's going to be in December. So uh, I, I had a lot of cool stuff coming up. You just got to find all the time to do it. So anyway, if you want to stay informed, click the subscribe. It's, it's down there. It's probably like right here. There's a subscribe thing right here. Click it. And then uh, click the bell so you can be notified when there's an upload, a new video uploaded. I will also link the 3D printing A, because that's like A, like A-H, like I'm sorry, E-H, like in Canada, A. Um, I will add the link down below in the box. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, uh, whatever, give it a thumbs down. I'm not going to cry. Anyway, this is Chris from Versus 3D, and uh, have a good one.